college. Um, I had graduated in mass communications, broadcast journalism. I was terrified. <laughs> Everybody knew that I was coming home and everyone was expecting great things. Uh -huh. um, mm. At the time, I just knew I had to do something just to show people that I could do it. So I was doing everything uh -huh. um, yeah. from background work, production, editing, design, makeup, hair, uh, whatever I could do just to show that I was doing something, but I really wasn't doing it. Uh -huh. Wow. And it was only because I wanted something nice to post on Instagram. You know, I wanted something <laughs> nice for Facebook. I wanted people to see that Marlo's baby was working. Um, but I really wasn't working. I was I was tiring myself, but I wasn't working my plan. Wow. Um, and so today I have a few different points I want to go over as far as how you can get to the fruit that you're trying to make. She's going to preach, y'all. Decide who you are. Um, I think graduating from college, you know, I was in the modeling troupe, and I was in choir, and I was doing so many things that I feel like I could do it all. Yes. And I could. Um, but I had to hone a skill. That's right. I had to decide who I was. That's right. My God. So that I could become the best at that. Yes. And then tackle other opportunities. Okay. Um, in this season of your life, if you had some things that you loved but you gave them up for a career or a job, not a job, um, <laughs> if you gave those things up and you're wanting to revisit, you're watching the people around you move and shake, but you don't really know how to do that, mm -hmm. first things first is find out what you love. That's wow. It's as simple as the ground floor. Uh -huh. um, find out what makes you smile. Find out what you go to bed thinking about That's and what you wake up thinking That's about. Good. If it's a passion for family, there are avenues in family. Yes. If there's a passion for food, there are plenty of avenues yes. in food, but you have to find out who you are yes. to even get to the second step. Yes. After that point, don't be a jack of all trades and a master of none. Say that. You sound like your daddy. When I was first starting out, I was in the face of a lot of people. I was in a lot of good areas around a lot of important people, but no one took me seriously. Uh -huh. And I could get in the door because I could speak well, <laughs> you know, I might yes. look the part, uh -huh. but I couldn't stay. Uh -huh. Woo! You know, they would allow me to see it, yes. but I would have to leave so Come the on professionals now. could take over. Come on now. And when I got tired of leaving, yes. I found out how to stay. Uh -huh. You know, and um, so that's when I started getting my training, uh, Streets 94.5, doing my internship. Um, writing for their blog, writing for their sites, writing the verbiage for the radio. Host. That's right. And I realized I like to edit. Yeah. I like taking other people's words mm -hmm. and helping them say what they were trying to yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. Um, there are so many people that have so many talents and they just can't yeah. convey it properly. And I've noticed that I really like to just take what people are trying to do and then change it, mold it, fix it, and then give it back to them the way that they saw it. And then when I see them, see me, see their vision, <laughs> it makes me feel great. Yeah. So I decided to work on my own edits. I decided to pull random articles from Vogue magazine online, yes. whoever, and then see how I could change it. Yes, ma'am. And then when I would take the finished product, I would you know, just put it in a folder. And my um, the administrator for the Model 2000 part of, he was just an administrator for uh, admissions for Fort Valley State University. Mm -hmm. At the time, I saw his vision. I saw that he wanted to be in fashion, but no one really took him seriously. He was an older man. You know, he had that extracurricular with our group, but that was all people really looked at him to do. We were in a small community, an HBCU. That's right. And Come on. no one took him seriously except for me. Uh -huh. And when he got ready to leave, he said, I'm going to be the editor, the CEO of Sheen Magazine. Yes, it's a very small platform, but I'm mm. going to uh -oh. And people were like, oh, okay, you know, great for you. Let's see how long it lasts before you need a job again. That's right. And I said, Mr. Haynes, you got this. You know, you got this. Just let me know when you need me. Uh -huh. And so when I moved back to Atlanta, he's the first person that I called. I let him know, hey, I'm back. Yeah. I need a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Uh -huh. And I just had to work for it. He didn't talk to me. He didn't say, okay, I knew you then. He'd never seen me as a wife. Uh, he'd only see me as a model. Mm -hmm. So when I told him this is my major, he's like, okay, well, just send me to work. Send me to work. Send me to work. It went about 12, maybe 11 months without hearing anything back from him. And then I got a response from the managing editor of the magazine um, offering me a position as a contributing writer. And from that point, you know, it was unpaid. I was using my 
my own gas, Come on. to my own expenses, just to be on the scene for these. And I was having big interviews. I was covering everyone, Jamie Fox, top models, mm -hmm. uh, CEOs of every company. Woo. And I wasn't getting paid anything. Mm -hmm. And I had to have a job job, you know, to cover those expenses, but I knew the goal. That's right. I knew the end game. Yeah. I knew yeah. The Oh, baby. After work, staying up all night doing my edits, sending it off first thing in the morning for a deadline, it made me feel great. And when I realized that, I knew who I was. That's right. And then I was able to not just be a jack of all trades and a master of none, but I mastered this thing. Oh. <laughs>
No. Because I didn't want the sympathy. I didn't want people feeling like, yes, she's down. Uh, Let me make this up for the next few months. No, I'm good. Right. I'm good. It is well, baby. It is well. Yeah. Yes. And that's just for my own self esteem. So I don't have people having the ability to attack the line. Ooh. Come on now. Come on now.
Ooh. Put yourself in a position for people to look at you, to see you, and fail you. And you will never get that opportunity again. Amen. You will never get that opportunity Come on, baby. I don't care what they say 